All right, section two, Wuthering Heights. So, this section is dedicated to an analysis of the key themes of the novel Wuthering Heights, specifically referring to the concept of revenge. Emily Bronte heavily pushes this concept through the course of the plot, but here is a quick refresher. In the beginning of the story, Heathcliff is adopted by the orphanage w Wuthering Heights, and the owner is the father of a boy named Hindley. Hindley mistreats and discriminates against Heathcliff, and once Hindley dies, Heathcliff inherits the orphanage. This is where the concept of revenge comes in, particularly against Hindley's son, Hareton, who Heathcliff chooses to enact his revenge on. Heathcliff becomes so consumed with rage and hatred that his life boils into something terrible and ugly and leads to his eventual death. There are many examples of Heathcliff enacting revenge on Hareton, such as when he forces Hareton to work and deny him education, even though he was in a social class much higher than these things. But the key moment is where Heathcliff truly admits his plan for revenge. And it's when he says, I want you to be aware that you have treated me infernally. And if you think I can be consoled by sweet words, you are an idiot and I'll fancy I'll suffer unrevenged. I'll convince you of the contrary in a very little while. Here he openly admits to Catherine that he has absolutely no motive for his actions now other than revenge on Harrison. One of Emily Bronte's criticisms of revenge also comes in, the, in this quote. Heathcliff is so blinded by revenge that he doesn't realize that he is mischaracterizing Catherine, who has never treated him infernally and was kind to him always. But it goes to show how a person who lives only for revenge does not care about what they say to others, and they certainly don't care if those claims are true. Eventually, through much action and wrongdoing, Heathcliff eventually realizes that his revenge won't bring him happiness. This is his moment of development. He says, My old enemies have not beaten me. Now would be the precise time to revenge myself. But where is the use? I don't care for striking. I have lost the faculty of enjoying their destruction. The whole reason he was seeking revenge was because he enjoyed it. But now that he realizes revenge won't bring him what he wants, he ceases his plans. However, this is too unlate for Heathcliff. It's too late. There was nothing left of him to remain alive anymore. No will to live and no passion to pursue, since it was all poured into revenge. And he died. This is the application to the reader, to be wary of revenge and to not put your entire heart into it, because when that desire for revenge ceases, you'll be left with nothing, like Heathcliff was.